What's going on guys? Fantasy Champs here. Draft time is almost here, so I have found a good formula that I think is the most strongest formula for the back end of the draft. We're doing non-PPR on sleeper, uh, standard scoring. Wait, I want to claim it and let's go ahead and start it up. By the way, that is not me in the photo. And the plan here is, whenever you're picking at the back, let me uh, put that on silent real quick, okay. The plan here when you're picking at the back, and we're, we're going to go realistic here. We're not going to take Alvin Kamara because we know he's not going to be there. But a realistic person that will be there, Aaron Jones or Zeke. So we will go here. You could go with Ezekiel Elliott or Aaron Jones. It really doesn't matter. You could just check who has the better schedule. Um, I would probably go with Aaron Jones here just because he has finished higher than Zeke, I believe, the last two years. It's right here. Guy I'm huge on is Antonio Gibson. Really liking uh, in my real draft, I should be able to get JT here and Gibson here. So we're going to take Gibson here. So I would say if you're 7, 8, 9, 10 do running back, running back. You're gonna solidify getting two RB1s. Like, look at me and this guy's team. I mean, that's not realistic having Kamara there, but say he has, you know, Jonathan Taylor, or Ezekiel Elliott. I mean, I don't. Zeke's not gonna last there. Let's say realistically, you know, he has like uh, Zeke and Chubb or something like that, you know? So here, we're not gonna go any of these running backs. I mean, honestly, if you really wanted to, you could go JK here, you know, Dome in your flex because the real strat here is I mean it, it could ruin your strat but we're gonna go Waller or Kittle here or Kelsey if he makes it we're gonna go Waller or Kittle here and then here we're not gonna look at any of these receivers all right these guys they're just not don't want any of them for my running back from wide receiver one so here I'm high on Jacobs. A lot of people aren't. He does have a little tough schedule, but the guy finished like running back nine in standard. So here, I basically see Sanders and Jacobs as high RB twos or low RB ones. You could even grab um, Darrell Henderson here. He is down here projected 170. He should get a lot of work, and you can cuff him with Xavier Jones. Here, though, I think I'm gonna go. Go Jacobs. I don't really understand the consensus. I mean, if the guy loses like 60 carries, he still gets like 210 carries. Uh, he's gonna get the goal line work. I mean, if your flex is getting like 15 touches a game, that's fine in, in my book. So, you want to go three running backs and a strong tight end, Kittle or Waller. Okay, if you know your league mates, you could maybe get Kittle or Waller here. I just got him here instead of Dobbins. Uh, Jacobs and Dobbins, kind of the same. I mean, this dude's in like a three-man committee. This man's just, I mean, the starter with, like, Kenny Drake's not a co-starter, you know? So here, you have two strategies here. You really want to look at your quarterback board. And so I still consider these three really good. I see Cup as high wide receiver two, maybe low wide receiver one. So here I'm gonna go cup. And as you can see, a lot of quarterbacks have went. So I know going back, damn, he sniped Ayuk. Damn. Okay. Sniped Ayuk from me. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy. So my wide receiver two here. Here's where it's like you can almost go like lock it or Deontay. Could throw Beckham in there if, you, if you're high on him. Could throw Chase in there. You could, I mean, Claypool's not bad at all, too. I was looking at Deontay's numbers. They're actually kind of solid. He's not too bad. See, but here it's like, okay. So one of the quarterbacks is going to come back. How much time do I have left? Uh, 15 seconds. Probably going to go with... Lock it. Don't really 
I mean, I don't hate it. I don't like it. I don't hate it. I would love to get Ayuk there. Maybe I should have went Beckham just for the upside. But you get your two safe wide receiver twos. You have your three just anchor running backs, just guys that are going to do work. Okay, let me see. Can I pull this down? Hmm. I don't like that I can't pull this down. Can I zoom out maybe? Let me see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So here, see if one of the quarterbacks made it back. Damn. So Herbert went, Wilson went, and Prescott went. So we're going to throw A-Rod in there. I still consider him a pretty high quarterback one. And here, looking back now, I mean, you're going to almost start these guys on a regular basis to where you could grab, you could either start grabbing a bunch of running backs here and use them for trade bait to upgrade your receivers. Because, you know, you could go, let's say, Javante Williams here. Javante Williams, you could move him in your flex. You could pair up, let's say, Jacobs and Lockett and try to trade him for maybe Lamb or Evans or Cooper. Then you have Cup, Evans, and you still have Javante Williams here. It's a very good strategy to do. It's something that I'll probably be shooting for. So here, I mean, all these receivers, they're kind of just like blah. I would consider going just AB down here, and uh, I figure he can do what all these guys can do here. So I'm gonna go Javante Williams here, actually. That that's a super good strategy to where you know if you if you can move uh, Williams into your flex, or or even just um, you know if somebody likes Williams, if he does good week one, pair Williams up with Lockett or pair Williams up with Cub, and go for a guy like Terry Terry, go for a guy like Keaton Allen. Go for a guy like Amari Cooper. Go for a guy like Lamb. Go for a guy like Evans. You know, maybe A.J. Brown. Go for these guys that have bad games up here. You know, everyone that has a bad game, pair up two guys that are medium players like Williams and Lockett or Jacobs and Lockett or something like that. Pair them up and buy low on someone. So here, Antonio Brown's down here. Don't want him to get sniped in my real league. So, man, we were just stacking up on boys. So, as you can see, we went Williams, Sermon. Not even worried about getting any more receivers, really, because I'm just going to get Antonio Brown. So, here. So, right here, I have three running backs that if one of these guys hit. I don't know what that is right there. What is that? Oh, probably edit. If one of these guys hit. I pair them up with Cup or Lockett, and I upgrade my receiver for free, you know, and I still keep Jacobs, or I pair Jacobs here and put one of these guys in my flex. One of these guys should hit. They've been looking good at camp, especially Williams. So we're going to go up here. Here's what we'll see. A, B. See, I would I, really, I would rather have gotten A, B there just because if he would have got sniped, I would have, I would have been... See, like now, I just feel, I just feel like my wide receivers are set. I really do. I mean, Keenan Allen can have a seven-yard game. Robinson can have a seven-yard game. Scary Terry can have a seven-yard game. They can do the same as these guys. Like this tier isn't that far off from these tiers over here. Okay. So right here, what other running backs do we got? We can grab. Want to look at your handcuffs as well. So I don't have Swift. Could go. Hmm. Probably just go Gus. Just because if Dobbins goes down, you have Gus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven running backs. I can get one more. This is pretty much going to be my plan going into here. Um, looking at the team here, the team. It's pretty solid. I mean, I have a I have the Green Bay stack. I score through the air or through the ground. I have a super strong RB2. I have high-end wide receiver twos. I have a high elite tight end one. And I have a run starting running back in my flex that should see 15 to 20 carries a game, all the goal line work. And then the beauty of this is my bench is beautiful. Any one of these guys can hit, and I can instantly upgrade my receiver position. I could instantly, I could even upgrade Jacobs. You know, if Javante is doing good, Jacobs doing good, I could trade both of them and go for like a 
Jonathan Taylor, maybe go for a Chubb, you know, maybe go for Najee Harris, and boom, put Najee Harris in my flex, just so I upgraded big time. So draft these running backs on here, check, try this formula out. If you're drafting, I'd say, you know, six through 10, um, or even if you're doing a 12 team, because I do 10 team, if you're at the 10 spot, try it out. We're gonna do another one. We're gonna see what we can get here. New mock, okay, pick eight. So yeah, really the running back, running back, tight end, running back, big time what I'm liking. So here we will go Nick Chubb, beautiful pick. He won't be there in mine. My draft is going to be Henry, McCaffrey, Cook, Kamara, Chubb, Zeke, A. Jones, and then right here I pick. I'm either gonna go JT or Gibson, probably gonna go JT. So we have Chubb, and we're not even gonna look at anybody else, and we're gonna pair him up with my guy Gibson. Look at the projection, 218. How are they mixing? Harris is climbing. Very good pick here, I think. Safe floor, should get some touchdowns, should get a lot of work, a lot of volume, good defense, good game strips. Chubb and Gibson, sexy. Gibson's, Gibson's about to eat, man. Calling it now. Christian McCaffrey this year. Okay, Najee Harris shouldn't be here. We're not going to draft him. Kittle is there, so we're going to get our guy here. And the thing is, if Waller and Kittle are both gone, then I think this is what you do. If they're both gone, you switch it up. And you probably grab Justin Jefferson and Scary Terry. I, I'm not that high on Scary Terry, but we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll act like Waller's gone. So we're going to take JJ, J. Jeff. You're going to go running back, running back, receiver, running back. So we're going to go back here. You can notice this tier receivers. It's always like kind of a dead zone here where I don't mind any of these guys coming back from the wide receiver one. Try here. We're going to throw Chris Carson at flex. Guys, solid. Player card. Finished as running back 16. Beautiful. So I almost have a top 15 running back finisher last year in my flex. Beautiful. I mean, it's just strong. Like, like look at this team. Barkley, Mixon, Montgomery, Evans, Murray. Pretty solid. Cook, Eckler, Swift. Pretty solid. Uh, tsk, this one's really good, actually. McCaffrey, Edwards, Jacobs. Like, I got lucky. That, that That's a really good draft right there, too, for the beginning. Okay. So here, what we always do, we're gonna look at receivers. And I don't like DJ Moore, man. So here, here, here's the thing. Here, you wanna go either receiver, receiver, or receiver, high quarterback. And you could go quarterback, receiver. You basically just here, you wanna look at best on board. So, I mean, I mean, you actually, the other route here that I really do like is uh, Lamar Jackson and Pitts. So I'm going to actually go Lamar Jackson. Oh, see, I forgot. I forgot we don't, we're not doing tight end. We got Jefferson up here. So I don't even need to be looking at receiver. Oh my gosh. See, Andrews went there. Cool. I will go with, yeah, I'll go with Pitts. See, this is the alternate strategy. So you still get, in my opinion, a low tight end one, high quarterback. You have an elite wide receiver one. I consider him up there in like the top seven receivers. You still have your three solid running backs. Your team just has a lot of balance. Look at it right here. My weakest position is my wide receiver two. And my wide receiver two, I can make it Beckham. I can make it Claypool. I can make it Chase. I would honestly, I'm... Yeah, we're throwing Beckham in there. Just for the just for the sex appeal, looking at the team. I mean, this guy's going to have big weeks. He's going to have some of 70 yards. Let's see if we can. 2020. So, came out with two. Sucked. 13. Not bad. About six. I mean, 33. I think he's going to have... I mean, if he's at your wide receiver two and he's dropping 33-some games, I'll take that. I will take that. So here we have everything. Our whole team is filled. So you know what we're gonna do? We're going to stack 
Right here, you could go Javante or Harris. I'm just going to go Williams, Javante Williams, just because less competition. You know, the Patriots, you never know who they're going to play, especially with the Rondell, I think it's Stevenson or Rondell Jacks or something like that. He's been looking really good. <sighs> Trey Sermon. See, this is the beauty. We don't have to be getting receivers down here. We don't want... You don't want to be getting these guys, dude. You don't... Like, the one guy you do want is Antonio Brown. Other than that, like, these guys... Get a couple of these running backs. Get a William Sermon. Get a, get a Damian Harris Sermon. Maybe get a Michael Carter. Make sure you grab AB. I really just want three receivers. I want my bona fide one. And that's if... See, the thing is, looking back at the Waller strategy, I like this team a lot better. But but here's the thing. You can't just do this strategy because when you pick late back here, if a guy like Jefferson falls there, Scary Terry, I don't really consider Keenan Allen in the, these guys. I, I consider Scary Terry and Keenan Allen in, and even A.J. Brown in kind of a lower tier, like a tier two. And I consider Jefferson in a tier one. Diggs tier one, Hopkins tier one, Ridley tier one, Metcalf tier one. So, you know, once Keenan Allen and Brown are there, it's almost like I'm like, you know, Keenan Allen might score 170 points. Waller could score that. You know, I want to get Waller there and then get a Lockett or something like that that could score 150, if that makes sense. So only if an elite wide receiver is there, you take him. So running backs here. We will just go McKissick, just so nobody snipes them, and we handcuff Gibson there, so we're good on Gibson. I mean, the team the team looks solid. Remember, like I said, let's see if we can come here and pause it real quick. Uh, okay, we'll just draft someone. We will go with Gus again. So, like I said, you only can you know only do this formula. If Waller is not there, he actually was there. We just did this formula to see, and it's still a very dominant team. You know, whenever you get to your pickup here, you don't have to take a receiver because you can go with the receiver back here. You can go with a, um, who is back here? Beckham, like Claypool, Deontay, Ayuik, maybe. You can just go with AB. So you don't have to grab a receiver here because you already have one here. So you can go with like a Jackson Andrews. You can go with the Dak, you know, Pitts. You can go with the Herbert, whatever, you know. Just you want to look at best on board here. Really avoid getting a wide receiver because you already had one. You know, if we would have had Waller here, then we would have went probably, I can't remember who the receivers were there. But yeah. So we're going to do one more. We're going to go back. So, I mean, that, that's pretty much the strategy. Running back, running back. If, so, like, here's here's what I'm saying. So, tier one, tier one, tier one, tier one, low tier one, but it's still tier one. Tier one, tier one. <coughs> I guess we'll put him in tier one. <coughs> tier one. The only reason I, A.J. Brown is because he had, like, 78 receptions and Julio Browns there. But, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight guys in tier one. You can see the huge drop-off, 208 to 160. Let me see. Let's see. Scary Terry is up there, man. This dude has really projected 1,440 yards. Nine touchdowns? Hmm. Maybe we do throw him in there. I mean, he is the one pitch Patrick is a gunslinger. I mean, but you, but you see what I'm saying. I would still, just because he hasn't proven it, I would say Brown and Jefferson are the bottom of the elite down there. Ridley too. To where if one of them fall to your third pick, it's super value to go running back, running back, Ridley. Running back, running back, A.J. Brown. Running back, running back. Jefferson. Whenever it's Keenan, Scary Terry, Allen Robinson, pass on those guys and go Kittle or Waller. Because how it works out, one way or another, 
one of the strategies will be there for you. If because if the people here are going like Kittle Waller, one of these guys is gonna slip to you. So let's do it again, and we'll kind of see how the draft goes. Like in my draft, I mean, and if you get lucky, you get. I don't know if y'all have seen the Super Saiyan dance when they do fusion, when Trunks and Gohan do it, make Go Trunks. If you do running back, running back, and Waller, like, and Jefferson's there, or Waller and A.J. Brown's there, and Kittle, you could go A.J. Brown just because the receiver is, uh, you know, they're, they're, if Waller and Kittle are there, go A.J. Brown here, or Ridley or Justin Jefferson if they fall there, and then hope that one of Kittle and Waller fall here. Then you have running back, running back, Justin Jefferson, Waller. Oh my God, you just go fusion on them boys. All right, so we're gonna do classic. We're gonna do Aaron Jones. Cool. Didn't snipe me on Gibson, I do it. Okay, Gibson, see in my draft, it's basically I'm gonna probably go JT. And then I'm gonna have this guy is gonna go Hill Adams. This guy's gonna get Najee Harris. This guy's gonna either do Najee and Saquon or Najee and Gibson. So my RB2, it's gonna be JT, my RB1, and my RB2 is gonna be either Gibson or Saquon, which is pretty sick. So, okay, Jefferson. So see, exactly what I say. The drop off of wide receiver. You can even see Waller is projected right up there with him. It's just scarcity, you know? He's the last guy until, boom, that drops off big. So it looks like we're gonna do the tight end strat here. And if you wanted, I mean, you can go Scary Terry here. If you think, like I was saying, he's a tier one guy. I've done it before. It's just, I don't know. Whenever you get down here, your flex is like Hunt, who's just, not bad, but if you don't get him, it's like Javante Williams. I just like getting a workhorse. See, it's so crazy. All these consensus, they're like, Jacob sucks. Jacob's, don't draft them. Don't draft them. Fourth round. Like, the dude's projected freaking 206, dude. Like, I don't know. Either this is completely wrong and their supercomputers are completely off. I mean, dude, 11 and 1150, like... I'm pretty much smashing Jacobs or Darrell Henderson here because Darrell Henderson's ADP on ESPN is about 38 and on here he's like way down here which makes no sense so I think I'm pretty comfortable going Henderson there on ESPN just because I can take in the 15th round I can take uh, I think it's Xavier Jones his backup I can just handcuff him for free and then if he gets hurt Throw Xavier Jones in. Cool. So I'm handcuffed there. I can get McKissick late. I'm handcuffed there. And then here, if you get Aaron Jones, handcuff him with AJ Dillon a little early. And then you're you're literally set. And then you're just going to get the running backs later. So here we did the tight end. So as you can see, it's the same people when you go. And it's not, it's not like you're like, I'm drafting this, this, and this guy. But I feel like if you have a little bit of a strategy, then... You know, you, you get the upper hand. It's it's good to have a strategy going into things. See here, hmm, Dak. I just love Herbert, man. So a quarterback will probably go here. I'm like not high on DJ Moore. A lot of people are. I'd rather just go Cup. <clears throat> See, Ayuk's gonna go in my league, and I, I'm probably not gonna get him. I think Ayuk's gonna go like right. Wait, Ayuk's gonna go. Ayuk's gonna go like right here, I think. Yeah, right here. Some dude's gonna snipe him here from me. But if he is there for your league, go quarterback late and do this strategy. Like this, this is beautiful. E even Galladay there, if he's healthy. Let's see, is he healthy? This dude freaking likely won't suit up. This dude's freaking hamstring killed me last year, dude. I had this dude in my flex. I had Adams, Allen Robinson, and Galladay in my flex. And this dude killed me, dude. I had freaking Aaron Jones and Clyde and Aaron Rodgers and Waller with Adams, A-Rob, and Galladay. And this dude freaking killed me, dude. F -f Fuck that guy. All right. Teams, the team's looking absolutely beautiful. Let's see if a quarterback fell. Damn. Damn. But I'm glad. 
I like the balance here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you gotta like the balance here. You really gotta like the balance here. So receivers like were super strong. Here's where I would just go like AB. So this really isn't realistic. Like Henderson shouldn't be there. Harris should be moving up. Really here, I mean, Mostert does get hurt. Still not bad if you get Sermon next. I'm gonna go, let's just switch it up a little bit. You can kinda just whoever you've been watching, whoever you like. A lot of those guys are really good there. And since we went quarterback, I mean, <coughs> Tannehill is the last, last upper echelon guy. I would probably honestly just go, It. See what you can do here is you can literally say fuck it. Damn, bro, Javante is predicted 174 points. This is all standard too. What you can do here is if you don't get a quarterback, you can just go one really late. Just look at who has the best schedule or something like that. And uh, like I said, these running backs, you can pair them up and you can trade them for a quarterback. You can do, you could do like two of them. Dude, this looks... Oof, look at these damn running backs, man. I gotta take a picture of this team after this and send it to my friend. Look at this team here, man. This is beautiful. Look at all these running backs. Like, if one of these guys is doing good, you just pair him up with whatever quarterback you have and go for, like, a low quarterback. Like, we can go... Damn. Kirk Cousins, 332 trade. Ooh, that boy's projected a lot. They got him projected as a starter, pretty much. Hmm. Taysom Hill. Hmm. What the? Wait. 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 No. Okay. Really wouldn't mind Joe Burrow, actually. Still Joe Burrow on there. And you don't have to go crazy and ask for, like, a crazy good guy. Oh, I was, I was worried. I was like, wait, did we get a... Oh, no, we forgot to get Antonio Brown. Oh. I forgot to get AB. Oh my god, it's still there. Oh my god. Don't forget to get AB. Do not let him get down here. Do not forget to get him. Get him like up here. Don't get sniped. Oh my god, he was the top guy there. What are the chances? Okay, one more quarterback. Justin Fields. So really... One of these guys hits, trade Jamal Williams and Joe Burrow, try to get like a Herb, try to get maybe like a Russell Wilson, maybe an Aaron Rodgers, go for him on a down week, and then significant upgrades, like I said. Get these running backs here. I mean, look at the freaking running back power. Like, look at this guy's team. So, Taylor Dobbins Carson, very, dude, this dude's team, hot. He kind of did our, he did the receiver strat. He did the running back, running back, basically receiver, running back. See, this is really nice. And then he has Sermon, Davis, Robinson. I mean, that's super solid, super solid. He kind of did it. See, this is Hunt, Edwards, Chubb, Kittle, Robinson. See, it's a good team right there. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. I'm drafting in nine days on the 29th. I'm going to live stream it and do one of these strategies. These teams are ridiculous that I'm mocking here. The only weak position I have is quarterback, which I can trade for and upgrade because I have all these running backs down here. Receivers are pretty strong. Strong running backs. Strong tight end. Let's get it this year. Let's make some fantasy chants. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to win it again this year, boys. Give me a thumbs up. I I need to subscribe. If you've made it this far, hit me with the subscribe. It's free, man. Help me out. I'm trying to grow the channel. I'm trying to give free formulas. Just do me a favor, help me out back by just hitting subscribe. Hope you guys liked the video. Anyways, I am out. Peace.